I think that one of the clearest biblical grounds for divorce and remarriage would be a persistent life of adultery. I'm basing this, of course, on Matthew chapter 19. It's a controversial passage, but I think that most interpreters interpret it that way, that divorce would be allowed where the marriage bond has been broken by infidelity. Now, as a pastor, my view has always been that just because there is infidelity, that doesn't mean that there should be divorce. And thankfully, we have many examples of people who, even though there was unfaithfulness in the marriage, have been able to forgive and to rebuild trust and all of those ingredients that make a happy marriage. But certainly one who uh, persists in the life of immorality. And then if that person marries the one with whom they are involved, I would certainly affirm that the other party is free to remarry. The other ground that is much more controversial and difficult to pin down has to do with an instance in which someone leaves the marriage because one of the partners is a believer. And of course, as pastors here, we need a tremendous amount of discernment because sometimes people come to us with situations that are very, very difficult to be able to negotiate and to be able to adjudicate. So we have to take every situation as it comes and recognize that in our church, for example, there are times that we marry people who have been previously divorced, and there are times that we don't. To the congregation, it might seem inconsistent, but when we look at it biblically and look at each situation uniquely, sometimes we have to make those very difficult calls.